With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello students. So in that question, there are two boxes. The first box having a P and the second box consider a coil Q are connected in a series with a AC source with a variable frequency. The EMF of the source is a constant that is a 10 volt. Box P contain a capacitance of a 32 ohm. Coil Q has a self inductance of a 4.9 milli Henry. Okay. And the resistance is a 68 ohm in a series. The frequency adjusted so that the maximum current will be flow. Okay guys. So in that case that is the maximum current will be flow in a P and Q. Okay. And impedance of Q it at that frequency. So dear students according to that statement he says there is a maximum current will be flow that means there is a resonance will be appear so first of all we calculate that is a resonant frequency resonant frequency okay so that is a omega is equal to 1 upon root of l into c 1 upon root of what is the value of l that is a given 4.9 into a 10 to the power minus 3 and the capacitance is a 1 into 10 to the power minus 6 ok so whenever you are calculating that so we are getting a 10 to the power 5 upon 7 radian per second ok that is a resonant frequency ok students after that we are calculated the maximum current ok so i maximum so i maximum is equivalent to a e naught epsilon naught that is a means a potential that is a given 10 and the total resistance there are two resistance 68 ohm and the 32 okay so it becomes a 100 so we are getting a current that is a 1 upon 10 ampere that is a maximum current will be flow now one by one we calculate the impedance for a p and q so impedance for a chat p is equivalent to a whole root is equivalent to a r1 square plus 1 upon omega c and the whole square the power is a 1 by 2 ok so r1 is given that is a 32 whole square plus 1 upon omega is we are calculating that is a 10 to the power 5 into c is given that is a 1 into a 10 to the power minus 6 ok 7 becomes a numerator and whole square and power is 1 by 2 whenever we are solving that quantity so we are writing here the, the impedance in a p box that is equivalent to a 77 ohm ok after calculation of that quantities next part is a now we are calculate the zq so zq is equivalent to a r2 square plus omega l and a whole square and power is a 1 by 2 so r2 is equivalent to a 68 and a whole square plus omega is a 10 to the power 5 upon 7 into a 10 to the power 3 multiplied by 4.9 we are writing that is 4.9 milli and square and power is a 1 by 2 ok so when you are solving that quantity so we are getting a zq is equivalent to a root of 9524 that is equivalent to a 97.6 ohm ok that is the value of a impedance of a q ok students so now we are calculating the potential for a v that is a i maximum and multiply by zp ok i maximum is what is the value i maximum that is a 1 by 10 and the potential we are getting after we are putting that value of 77 ohm so this is a 7.70 volt for a P box ok similarly we calculate the for a Q box is equivalent to a I maximum multiply by ZQ that is a 1 upon 10 multiply by 97.6 that is a 9.76 volt ok students that is a P and Q values voltage now we check the options that is a P and Q that is a 7.7 .7 volt 0 and 9.6 that is a D option is a correct thank you so much for class 6 to 12 ITG and NEET level Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.